Hey there, everyone. Now, this level today, starting out, I dislike. Because mostly the amount of work that has to be done. So, uh, let's see. Well, I've got 50 floaters. I guess I could just, uh, have them all climb up and over the wall here. That would be, that would be nice. So, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's make the first one a floater and also a climber so that he can go about doing his business. And we want to pause so we can save this one. And we'll just have the rest kind of float as they come down. We won't speed up the release rate just yet. And we will go ahead and have this one start digging. Right about here should be nice. And now I'm going to speed up the release rate vastly. This should be good. They'll start pouring out at a fairly rapid rate. I can just click, go boop, boop. And I gotta keep watching my digger over to the right. There are many, many ways you can do this level. This is just one. But you have enough, you have enough floaters to cover your entire complement of lemmings, so there's no point in like. There's no point in. Oh god. Okay, I need to concentrate. Okay, this guy needs to start building now. So there's no reason why you shouldn't give, like, your full complement of lemmings all floater abilities. You just kind of speed up the release rate and make them all floaters as they come out. This isn't rocket science. And you see there's a pillar to the left. I'm going to be making everyone climbers as well. And Mr. Builder Athlete made it just fine to the exit. I've got six, five, four... Three, two, one, no floaters left. Everybody survived. Now we start about the task of making them climbers. Some will climb out the right way, some will climb out the wrong way, but in the end it doesn't really matter because there's that little there's that little piece sticking out on the pillar to the left. So I can just kind of click on all these guys. It might be a little slow in the going, but I can eventually click on all of them since they will clear out, you know, a few at a time. And they can just kind of make their way out of the pit. I love all the climbing going on here. It's so kind of adorable. We've only got ten climbers left now. Excellent. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Everybody is now assured of safety. So, uh... They're all gonna pile to the exit now. I think we can. Uh, I think we can be assured of their safety. But let's just let's just watch them and let's just see them off and make sure they get to the exit just fine anyhow. But yeah, there are like there are tons of ways you could potentially do this level, especially given the amount of climbers and floaters and builders you have. They give you 50 of those particular tasks. So oh my god. I suppose if you've got it in you, post a video response or something. I've never really asked people to do that, but show me how you would beat this level. I guess. Alright, if I set everything up correctly at the beginning here, this should be a simple level. First, I need to make this guy floater, but the beginning is the hardest part here, so I'm going to watch him float. Alright, okay, good. You need to make that guy a builder as soon as he hits that bottom step. That's the toughest part right there, so when he starts floating down, pause, have your builders out, and have him cl start clicking on him frantically as soon as he gets to the bottom of that step. And now we just set up our two blockers as usual. That's simple. And now I can raise my release rate to 99 and start building a zigzag case out of here. Zigzag staircase, rather. Oops, that was a bit of a waste of a builder. But good thing I have 50 builders here. There should be no reason for me to run out of builders. I'll be right back when I build this zigzag staircase out of here. Okay, I'm finished with that. Now I'm going to start building a zigzag staircase up between these two floating steel columns right here. I'll be back when I have finished that now. Well, now that one turned out much better than the first one. You see, I kind of screwed up right here and had to start over a few times. Uh, now we just have to build the exit. I already bombed those guys, and it should be a short trip. They make their way up, and yes, that is a perfectly successful bridge. I'm so proud of myself. Hooray. 
go ahead and cut off this bridge and it shouldn't be too long, just a few seconds before these guys make the exit. He was almost done anyway. I probably should have just let him finish. But yeah, you can go a couple ways through that level, but that is the way that I generally find the easiest. And here we are, we've made it to the second special level in the game. This is based on a Psygnosis space shooter called, I believe, Menace. I have never played it myself, in fact, I don't even ever think I've seen gameplay of it. But this is another simple level, just one of those where one goes ahead and does all the hard work, while everybody else just kind of sits back and waits for the guy to finish his job. So let's raise the release rate to 99 now, we're good to go. Is he going to fall through here and stop bashing? Nope, he's got good ground to go on there. He's probably going to duck a little lower because of that tiny hole right there, but he should otherwise be fine. This is a terribly freaky level to me. I have I have long been freaked out by the way this is designed, and I think it'd be interesting to play Menace considering how this level looks. I don't know if it looks better or worse than this. We're going to build up out of here so that we're not bashing through snake guts the whole time. Then build to turn him around again. Now we're going to have to bash through a pile of discarded bones. It's like an elephant graveyard slash hell slash everything else. This is a really freaky level, but it's only included in uh, computer versions of the game. When this game was ported to consoles, they generally took out the special Psygnosis levels that were based on Psygnosis games and replaced them with, uh, they replaced them with other things. And now, it looks like, you know, it also looks like this level would be rife with traps, but it's really not. This is all just decoration. It's all just there for aesthetic, pleasure, and all. But, uh, it's just there to look good. This level is only scary. Its bark is much worse than its bite. But it is very much fun to look at. So, even though it's fun to look at, that doesn't justify sitting here while this guy builds his really super long bridge. So, I'll be back when he's done with that. Alright, now we're going to have to build another super long one, which I generally like to start from about right here, I think should do it. Actually, he may hit up on that snake tail. We'll see, though, I guess. Nope, looks like he's going to make it just fine. So let's go back and blow up the blockers and have the rest of them walk to safety. Man, Lemming's version of Hell looks downright cuddly compared to this. Maybe this should have been the, uh, this should have been the standard Hell palette, because this is like... <laughs> always chilling to me. But yeah, anyway, that's it for this gross, disgusting special level. Now for the next few levels, the game is going to be in kind of a let's do the tutorial levels all over again, but this time with bombs phase. And you'll notice you have five bombers for this level. But, you have to save 60%, and since there are 10 lemmings, that means you can only use 4 of your bombers. So if you use all 5 of them, you fail the level because you don't meet the minimum requirement for saving all the lemmings. So how do you bomb through in such a way that your lemmings all get to safety? Well, for this level, you're going to bomb them all in the same place. You're going to start them off about right here. I'm going to go ahead and do four of them, even though it'll probably take only three to get through this particular gap. Yeah, okay, yeah, I could have just done with three then. So if you start from about right there, you only you can actually save 70% of the limits. I just didn't trust myself there. But uh, we got to watch the rest of them walk to safety because we have to save at least 60%, so there. Alright, here now is a rerun of Stage 5 from Fun. We only have one basher, but we also get a miner, so what we have to do now is just kind of, we gotta go and we're gonna mine. We're gonna mine through here. I just like to start there. You can really start from anywhere, but I like to cut down on the bashing time if at all possible. And once he gets down to about here, we're gonna have him start bashing. So he's gonna go through the wall, and now what we have to do is we only have 10 bombers and we have to somehow make it through this portion of fence here. And the bombing through the fence is a little bit harder than bombing through the area in the last level. You can't quite just have everybody bomb in the same place because they'll go straight down. So you have to adjust your uh, you have to adjust your bombing strategy just slightly. So what we're gonna do 
is we're going to have people bomb. We're going to start one off right here, and then have one go slightly ahead of him for each... For each little segment of bombing, we're going to have one go slightly farther ahead from where the last one went. And wow, I only needed seven bombers to get through that, but you just, that's what you have to do there, is you just take all your bombers, I'm gonna raise my release right now, and they're all already out, so, oh, wonderful. But yeah, you just start from about right here, you have one bomb right here, and you have the second one bomb about right here, and then on and on and so on and so forth until you've blasted your way through the whole fence. It's not that hard, it takes some practice if you're a beginner. I'm actually surprised I didn't screw that up myself. But I've just been playing this game for decades, and I, I just kind of have these things ingrained in my brain now. Sorry for those of you who have been waiting for me to screw up. It hasn't happened yet. It almost did once, but it hasn't happened yet. So don't worry. You people wait for me to screw up, you'll get your day in the sun. This one's simple. This is just a matter of sucking it up and doing it. First one's easy. You get it in the bat. It's a freebie right there. You can bomb him anywhere you want. But the second one requires crack timing. And I like to use the, this line right here as my timer. Soon as the lemon gets to it, I start the countdown. It's a nice little mnemonic to have him know where to go. He bombs straight through. Start from this little line right here, exactly the middle. You can use the brick lines as your, uh, as your guide. But uh, other than that, super simple. And there they go. There's our 96% in the bag. I think we got time for one more today, and it's yet another fun repeat. This is only floaters can survive this, but we only have one floater now. So, only one guy is going to be able to float down. The rest have to find some other way down. And the way we're going to do this is we are going to have the first guy dig. He's going to start from about right here. You want to leave a tiny space on the right side of the pillar. One lemming will get up over the pit, and uh, he's the one who needs to be your floater. And he will make it to safety because he just walks over the pit. He's going to do that. You have to have him do that. So now that your guy is digging, once all of them have fallen in the pit, you want to make your digger bomb. And he's just going to go down. I don't know why they give you the two builders. You don't really need it. But the digger will blow his way through, and that's why you have to go over to the far right side of the column so that he can actually blow through once he's done that. If you, if you do it, I'll see you all the time. 